But let's turn to business news now with Giles Beckford, our business editor, beaming in from uh, our Wellington office, which is in fact head office. Giles, uh, a big change in the ownership of the local oil and gas industry. Uh, good evening to you, John. I'm not sure we have concepts of uh, head offices at uh, Yes, we do. Anymore. No, yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> any, any, we are anyway. a mere bureau here in Auckland. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's look at local oil and gas. Yes, a bit of history. Shell New Zealand has announced uh, today that it's sold its last remaining assets in this country, which is its stakes in a couple of uh, gas fields. That's the Maui and the Pohokura fields, also tank farm facilities associated with those fields and its stake in the Great Southern Basin where it has an exploration permit uh, and was due to drill a hole at some stage in the next year or two. It sold them to one of the other big players in the local scene and that is OMV Energy. That's an Austrian company which has uh, big plans for expansion in this part of the world. Shell's uh, decision, not a surprise. The price is about $800 million, just a shade under that. But it had given notice that it wanted to get out of this part of the world. It's not a core asset. Uh, there's not much here for them, really. And although it's been quite a profitable little business, uh, they actually want the money. They're concentrating uh, in Brazil and uh, other areas where there's really good exploration possibilities. They're also looking to uh, just tidy up their, their profits, their finances after the real crash in oil prices. So uh, by the end of the year, Shell will be just a name. Remembering that they'd sold their petrol stations six or seven years ago, That's they right. became Z Energy. Yeah. Uh, and they sold their pipelines a couple of years ago, and they sold their last stake in the Carpuni field, which was one of the first gas fields in this country, which they started. So been here since 1911. Farewell, Shell. Gosh. Oh, that really is the end of an era. Um, Giles, it's been a funny old week on the markets. What, what happened today? Well, uh, apart from that, it's been reasonably quiet, but let's just have a little look ahead because I like to sort of pitch things forward for what you might look out for next week. We have two central bank uh, meetings, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand uh, and the Federal Reserve in the United States. Now, no rate rise expected here. Mm. Uh, it will be the last statement from Grant Spencer, who's been warming the chair since Graham Wheeler left. So it's a sort of the passing of the baton from, Graham, uh, from Grant Spencer through to the new... Uh, IBNZ Governor Adrian Orr, who takes over the week after next. The key one, I think, of, of real interest is it's Fonterra's half-year result. Now, this is a company that is really under the gun, I think. All the scrutiny will not go, uh, will go not on its local operations per se, but in fact on its China operations. It bought a minority stake in a Chinese company called Being Mate, which was supposed to be the gateway to the Chinese infant formula market. It's proved to be a disaster. Uh, it has burnt, literally burnt, hundreds of millions of dollars invested in that company. And there are really serious questions about the way the company is run, about the integrity of its finances and its operations and its management. Uh, and I think that probably Fonterra shareholders, the, you know, the 10,500 dairy farmers who are the owners of that cooperative, you know, they will start to be asking some serious questions about the way Fonterra's thinking about that Chinese market and the reasons why it's still sticking with being made. We'll be watching that one with real interest. Uh, and I think the other one is to watch uh, is, uh, is Sinle. Sinle, of course, is the little company that supplies uh, A2 milk with their special uh, protein. Uh, and they're doing gum gangbusters. They finally have actually just started to do a deal with Fonterra. So uh, Fonterra had the opportunity to get into Sinle 10, 15 years ago turned it up, uh, turned its nose up at it, tried to sink it and discredit it. In the end, it's had to um, really sort of turn around and say, well, we've got something here, there's business to be done. So I think there are a couple of corporate events to watch with some real interest next week. Thanks, Charles. Just quickly before you go, the numbers for Friday night. Uh, our share market, we were within a whisker of 8,500. We have set a, a record high, but we just at the close slipped back. So we're up 10 points, 8477. Big volumes in Sky TV, a uh, suspicion there that perhaps one of the big shareholders has been uh, shuffling its stakes around. Nearly 34 million shares sold, so we'll wait for some details on that. And the uh, Kiwi dollar on the back foot, 72.5 US cents and just under 93 Australian. Business editor Giles Beckford, thanks for your work this week. Have a great weekend, Giles.